Hey, what's going on everyone? We're talking about while loops and how we can use them to control the flow of our code. In this video, we're going to look at the keywords break and continue, which we can add to our loop to help uh, give us some more flexibility in the control of our looping. So let's have a look at that. And if you remember from uh, the previous video, we wrote this kind of annoying loop where uh, we would just be we, we were kept uh, uh, being asked you know to enter your name so we were entering your name your name and finally we actually had to enter literally your name in order for the while loop to exit and print thank you now one of the most beautiful things about programming is that there are many ways to to accomplish the same task right so we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna do this uh, we're going to write a program that does the same function, or, you know, it does the same uh, task, but we're going to do it in a different way. We're going to use a break statement or a break keyword. And if you notice, if you type the word break, you'll see that it lights up in the same color as my other keywords. So that is definitely a keyword, and you don't want to call any of your variables to be break, or you don't want to call any of your functions to be break. Now, Again, I'm going to write a program that does the same thing. Instead of starting by initializing name, I'm going to start with the while loop. And I'm going to say while true colon, or, uh, excuse me, not, I need a capital. There we go. While true. Now, true is always true, right? So it, true always evaluates to true. And so this is definitely true, and we're going to keep looping. And unless we do something crafty, we're going to have an infinite while loop here because uh, it's always going to be true. So we're going to have to somehow break out of it, and that's where the break statement comes into play. So now I can say something like um, name equals input, you know, please enter your name. So you see, I didn't have to initialize name here because name is not in the while statement. It's, it's just while true. Uh, up here, it needed to evaluate the truth of this statement, or the Boolean truth, right? And so it needs name to be initialized, but not here. So while true is always true, and so we're always going to be asked to, to enter our, your name, then what we can say is if name equals equals, right, then your name. So remember the double equal sign is to test equality. So if I input literally your name, then this Boolean expression would evaluate to true, and the if statement would be true. And in that case, what I'm going to say is just break like that. Notice the double indentation because I have if inside of a while, and each one of those things requires its own indentation. Now, what this is saying then is if I input your name literally, then I'm going to break out of the loop. And uh, the while is a loop, so I would break out of while. So now outside of the while, so notice the lack of indentation here, I'm going to print thank you. Okay, And this code now I claim is, is going to do the same thing as my code up here. And just to uh, illustrate that, I'm going to comment out this code. Control 1, after I highlight it, does a block comment. And then I'm going to save it, Control S. And so we're going to run this thing using this new piece of code here. So I'm going to run it. So you'll see, please enter your name. And I'll type Marty, please enter your name, Martin. And we'll just, I'm getting mad, so I'm going to input this. And it keeps going, right, until I enter literally your name. Hit enter, thank you. So you see it does the exact same thing as above. right? Uh, again, the way that this works is while true, that's always true. So if I do not have a break statement, then I have an infinite while loop because this is always true. So while true, then I'm going to be asked to enter my name. So that gets stored as name. Then if name equals equals your name, then I break out of the loop. And then I print thank you. Now I'm going to uncomment this by highlighting it, hitting Control-1 again. 
and let's compare now and I want to say that um, in our course in this beginning programming course uh, it doesn't really matter which which way you would write this um, the goal of a beginning programming course is just to get your code to work um, that being said I do want to point out that I think the first way we did it is is kind of uh, viewed as the better way of doing it and the reason is because uh, the the first way is more readable and what I mean by readable is that the while statement gives us some information about what it what it is exactly that we're doing you know as soon as we read line 8 we know that this variable name has to be your name otherwise it's going to continue looping so that helps us kind of determine the functionality of this code now in the second way we did it we, we're not given that information we just see while true so that doesn't really tell us anything about the functionality of the code we have to keep reading to figure out you know what is exactly happening in this block of code and what's going to get us out of the while loop so I would say I would argue that the first way of doing it is a little bit better but uh, you just get your code to work just get your code to work so if you want to use the break statement to get it to work that's fine all right, I'm gonna comment all that out. Control one, and now I'm gonna show you something that's called the uh, continue statement or the continue keyword. So if you type the word continue, you'll notice that it lights up in blue as well. And I'm gonna write a code here that's going to uh, look for a specific person named Joe or whatever name, and it's going to look for a specific password. Right, so you know your your login credentials. You got your name, Joe, username, and your user password. So how about uh, Swordfish? Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write a while loop. Uh, while true, we'll start with that. Although maybe that's not the best way of doing that, but that's okay. And we're going to say um, uh, name equals, and we're going to ask. You know who are you okay and so then because it's an input the person's going to have to enter his or her name and then we'll, we'll compare that we'll say if name does not equal Joe okay so we're looking for somebody named Joe okay if the name does not equal Joe colon right and notice the double indentation then what we're gonna say is we're gonna continue and what continue does is it just it restarts the loop so it just comes back up to line 23 all right and then outside of the if statement I'm gonna type uh, print uh, or no let's let's use the uh, let's use the input function again we're gonna we're gonna ask for a password password equals input and so by the time it gets this far we know the person's name is Joe so we're gonna type hello Joe what is the password and maybe we'll give the person a hint like it is a fish okay and so that's gonna prompt the the uh, person Joe to input a password and then we're going to compare maybe the password is swordfish so we're going to say if password equals swordfish we're going to type break we're going to break out of the loop and so at that point we're out of the loop and then we're going to print something that shows us we're out of the loop maybe access granted all right now let's uh, let's kinda deconstruct this a little bit while true is always true so that we're gonna enter the while loop then we're gonna be prompted for a name who are you if we give any name but Joe the subsequent if statement if name does not equal Joe will be true and then we use the word continue so what that does is that goes that resets right back to the top of the loop 
So then we're going to be prompted for another name. And again, if we input any name but Joe, we're going to just be prompted for another name. Now, if we input Joe, then this if statement will be false. Joe does not, uh, or it's, it's false that Joe does not equal Joe. So now we continue, or, or I shouldn't say continue, we, we proceed through the while loop then, and then we'll be prompted for a password. Uh, I, I keep putting W at the end of hello. I've typed hello world many times, too many times. So now uh, it'll say password equals, and then if we input the correct password, which seems to be swordfish, then we break out of the loop, and then it will print access granted. Now, think about the answer to this question. Pause the video if you like. What if we don't uh, input swordfish? If we don't input swordfish, then we will not break out of the loop, and we'll come back up to loop, and we'll be prompted for a name again, and so we'll be stuck in this name thing until we input Joe. All right. So uh, again, if we if we do not input swordfish, we will be asked for our name again, which is something you may or may not want. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset everything, and I'm gonna clear, and I'll save Control S. Control S, and we'll run it. We'll see what what's going on, what how it works here. So who are you? So I'll say Marty, and uh, it asks again, who are you? We'll say Martin. Who are you? And we'll say Joe. Hello, Joe. What is the password? It is a fish. Now if I type swordfish, that's the correct password, and then it'll say access granted, access granted, and that's the end of the program. All right. So you see the things in the variable explorer and you see uh, the program has finished. Now let me run that again. Who are you? So I'm going to just go right to the chase here, cut right to the chase, Joe. Now hello Joe, what is the password? It is a fish. Now let's say I uh, input a clownfish. Now it comes back up to the top of the loop. Who are you? Now and then it's it's like uh, it's like we have not yet even entered in Joe again. So I can say Marty or Martin, and the whole thing starts over. All right, I'll enter Joe, and then I'll enter uh, you know Swordfish. Okay, access granted. Nice. So this gives you an idea of how we can use the continue and the break keywords to help give us some additional functionality. Thank you.